So, in this video, we are going to see the addition of the given expression, the addition of the given algebraic expression. So, first thing it is given as add the like terms and then simplify the following. So, you have to identify the like terms in order to add them. First, in this first question, it is 10x square plus 3x minus 4 minus 4x square minus 8x plus 16 plus 11. In this first question, you are going to identify the like terms. Now, like terms here is first we'll check with the degree 2. So, 10x square minus 4x. We are going to be an here. So, 10x square minus 4x square. Then comes the term x. So, the term with x. So, 3x plus 3x negative 8x. And one more thing is positive than x. Is it clear? With that we have two more constants. Negative 4 and positive 16. So plus 16 minus 4. Now we have rearranged it according to the like terms. Let us now simplify them. In this, for this x square terms, it is 10 minus 4. The like term is x square. So you have to simplify this. So it is 10 minus 4. You have to take the coefficient and add or subtract according to the sign. So it is 10 minus 4 it is 6. So it is 6x square. Then comes positive 3x, positive 9x, which is 14x. 14x minus 8x. So we get as 14x minus 8 will be plus 14x. Minus 1 step, you can write it and it's on the next step. Okay, 14x plus 8x. Again, we are going to solve this. Plus 16 minus 4, it is 12. So the final step and the answer here it is 14 minus 8, you will get. So 14 minus 8 is going to be 6x. 6, 6. 6 plus 12. Is this clear, children? So the final answer is 6x squared plus 6x plus 12. So you should be thorough with the integers in order to solve the like terms. Okay. Here the next question is minus 3x squared plus 7xy minus 10 plus 6x squared minus 8 by plus 3. First we are going to identify the like terms. So the like term is 3x squared and 6x. So it is going to be 3 and 2g plus 6x squared. Then comes x squared terms. So it is positive. 7xy, negative x And finally, the constant terms. Negative 10, positive 8. So, now we are simplifying them. So, 6 minus 3, it is positive. 3x squared. Different sign, subtract and put the greater number sign. Then, here it is 7. The coefficient of xy is negative 1. When there is no number here, you have to take it as 1. So, it is negative 1. So 7 minus 1 is 6. So positive 6x. Again, different sign subtract and put the greater number. And finally, minus 10 plus 8 is going to be negative. Is this clear, children? Okay, fine. And we have the last question given this. 4ad plus 6bc minus 9ac minus 10bc plus 2ad plus ac. Identifying the like terms initial. So ab terms. We have to check for the terms ab. So we are using 4ab plus 2ab. Next comes bc terms. BC. Here we have 6bc and negative 10 bc. So plus 6bc, negative 10 bc. And finally ac terms. Okay. So it is negative 9 ac, positive ac. Okay, now we are going to simplify according to the right terms. Here, 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 AB. Then, BC terms. This 6 minus 10 is negative 4. Different sign, subtract and put the greater number sign. And the variable is BC. So, negative 4 BC. Finally, as I said before, when you are not having any coefficient, so for this AC, the coefficient is going to be 1. So the sign is positive, so positive 1. So negative 9 plus 1 is negative 8. Subtract with the greater. So negative 8 is 6. 
So the answer is 6 AB minus 4 BC minus 8 BC KC. So this is how you will add the like terms by identifying the like terms and rearranging. The first step is rearranging the terms according to the terms, okay, like terms. And then you have to simplify them accordingly. So this is how you solve the given expression. Is that clear to you? Okay.